Hello my dears, how are you doing today? I hope that you're good, that you, your family, loved ones and everyone around you are healthy, happy and safe. So first things first, a very exciting uh, announcement for you guys. So uh, I have already shared that uh, for my subscribers, but if you're new here, welcome guys. So I would like to tell you that I will be doing a uh, a draw up uh, like a monthly draw for each month there will be four of my followers and dear subscribers that are going to be uh, winning a private reading with me so uh, if you would like to participate in the draw all you have to do actually is to subscribe welcome <laughs> and um, to follow me on instagram and how it's going to be actually is on the 24th of May, which is a Sunday, I'm going to be uh, like recording everything, like how I'm going to be drawing the uh, names for the winners. I'm going to be selecting all my followers on Instagram. And then from there, I'm going to be putting all the names on a uh, software so that the software can select four of my lovely followers randomly. So uh, on the 24th of May, I will be sharing the video so that the uh, winners are going to be revealed and also i'm going to be contacting them directly on instagram so if you would like to have your own personal reading for free welcome to join the family and also to follow me on instagram all the information that you might want is in the info box so without further ado yesterday i thought about this subject like journey about ma uh, to marriage and i was like why didn't i do it already like this is yeah but they, it's not too late guys <laughs> so for today's reading is going to be all about your journey to marriage and those cards that are in front of you guys are the ones that are significant for me marriage so we have the uh, lovers two of cups the sun four of wands you know the classics uh, hierophant the tree of pentacles tree of cups we have the uh, star and here justice and then the ten ten fulfillment family gatherings ten of cups and ten of pentacles so i'm going to be stopping the video here uh, so that i can give you your choices and uh, yeah i will see you in a bit so <laughs> here are your pies and we have uh, option number one which is the uh, green leaf option number two the night forest and option number three the traveling uh, birds so please uh, take your time you can pause the video so that you can meditate and uh, look at which option actually draw, draws you the most or which options it depends on you and you can go directly to your reading by clicking on the timestamps down below so please feel free to pause if you need more time and without further ado i'm going to be starting with option number one which is the option of green leaf so if you have chosen option number one guys welcome to the reading i'm gonna keep your uh, card in here it's already significates growth something that is prosperous something that is worth having it's uh yeah it's also something that uh, is going to come natural to you so you there is really um nothing that is going to be rushed when it comes to the relationship with the person that you're going to be marrying so very natural going with the flow you're going to be watering your relationship uh, as much as you need so that it can flourish and go to the next level in its most natural way so already some messages for you but let me explain to you what we're gonna do right now i'm gonna pull the cards for you my dears until we are going to reach one of the cards that i have told you earlier that actually significates a marriage card so let's start right away with option number one please their journey to marriage please so we have the tower card nice what do we have again next card please the queen of swords the moon Ooh. and the lovers <laughs> that's beautiful <laughs> that is nice so i can see for you that 
there is not like uh, too many things that needs to happen but the things that need to happen actually are very important <laughs> so you can see that there are only four cars so easy peasy but what needs to be done is actually uh, very important and very pivotal in your life so first thing first right off the bat you have the tower card and the tower card is the shaking and this destruction of any kind of building that was built on rubbish that was built on lies that was built on bs like basically so the current situation that you're in is a a, a situation of re-evaluating re is this what i want what do i want actually so very important questions and also when it comes to your relationships either with your friends with your family with even your in your job like what are the things that you are envisioning for yourself in the future there is some kind of a self-evaluation of everything that is going on in your life so the tower card is extremely important and it's definitely a beautiful card to get at the beginning of your journey to marriage so that is so nice because it's actually um ah and i wanted to tell you uh to give you an information guys like those cards they do not significate months they do not significate any kind of periods they are just about energies and i'm going to be drawing at the end of your reading some time periods for you guys but for now we're just going to be focusing on the energies that are present uh in your journey towards marriage so after you're going to be considering and questioning many things that are going on in your life what are you going to do you are to, going to be very assertive and almost like uh, cutting through the lies cutting through the illusions but you're going to be accepting that there are some things that definitely are going still to be heading and you're going to be um having faith in the universe that is going to be bringing you the right information at the right time so definitely with this uh, uh like as i have said earlier this this queen of swords is uh like a period of you uh, decluttering like a decluttering period uh like uh, as i have like this this card that you have chosen which is the the green um the green plant uh, i have told you earlier about your relationship like your, your relationship with your person how it's going to be is going to be easy peasy n n like you're not even going to be thinking about it neither you or your future spouse it's something that you're going to be both embracing but and this is the most important message that is, is uh, getting out of those cards this plant is going to be flourishing in a very healthy soil this is what i would like to tell you so this is what you are working on right now you are working on like having healthy relationships having healthy relationship not only with people but also with the things that you like with the activities that you do maybe with food maybe with uh, work maybe with the even things that material things that you have in your life so right now you are taking life by the horns this is what i can tell you especially when you are going to be reassessing everything so afterwards we have the moon card the moon card uh, like gives us two messages the, the first message is embracing your femininity yeah this is the moon card the most feminine card for me in the tarot deck is the moon card you're going to be willing to accept anything that the universe is going to deliver you because you you know like you know when you're going to be reaching that state of tranquility and appeasedness just between you and yourself you're going to be having that very strong inner knowing that the universe is going to bring you the right person at the right time and you're not even going to be bothered like this is like incredible and this is the most straightforward <laughs> uh, journey to anything really that you would like in your life this this um philosophy that you're going to be adopting when it comes to uh, like how you perceive relationships in love in general you can apply it in any kind of uh, aspect in your life and it's going to be working just fine like this is like the manifestation at its finest you're going to be working on yourself because you see that the universe and everything that is presented towards you starts with you so you are the start of anything that is actually going to be presented in you it's presented in your life you're going to be taking charge and you're going to be having all 
like ultimate fate in the universe that is going to be taking you where you should be at and afterwards look at that here is the person that is going to be presented to you and it's represented by one card this is the universe the angels and this is the, like a, your guardian angel that is going to be presented to you and it's almost like like effortless this is the, like i kept hearing the word effortless right after like and even if there are some struggles you do you think that those two people they care they absolutely do not care because this card in here with the number six it represents stability it represents uh growth you can see that there is growth in here and um, the growth is going to be coming natural to you so yeah I'm going to get some clarifiers for you guys. So how about the tower, the tower card? So how about the tower card? So I'm loving this reading, if you can say already. <laughs> Thief, definitely. Yeah. So re-evaluation. Re-evaluation. This is the, the, the this is the card in what it significates. If there are any people, look at this thief in here taking your energy taking your time taking your mind taking your everything it could be also money this is like re-evaluating uh like this person that is in my life what, like what am i gonna do with this person is uh, is uh, how in i envision my future do i envision this person being with me in the long run so this is what you're doing right now this is a very important period and also with this because i'm um Recording, recording this during the quarantine. This quarantine time is really like many people are actually working on themselves. And I have noticed that also with the private readings that people are asking, it's not only about like love and relationships, but it's it's really like mostly about uh, self improvement. Look at this. It's almost like the continuation. This is like the energy that is go you're going to be in when it comes to uh, your self-evaluation. But afterwards, cutting people off, burning bridges. This is what I see. Burning bridges with people that no longer serve you in any kind of way. So definitely a very clear, clear indication about like what we have said earlier. And what, what about the moon card? What about the moon card? judge so this is the universe this is the universe is represented by the judge you can see uh, on the back side uh, of this uh, man in here there is a statue uh, the, uh, of um, a person that is blindfolded look at that Bl i have never seen this in this card <laughs> blindfolded and this person has a scale in their hands so the message is extremely clear like it couldn't be more clearer than that you're going to be uh, like closing your eyes and believing ultimately in the verdict of this judge this judge is a fair one like the universe is going to be bringing you a fair outcome of any kind of situation that you are in so you are going to be believing blindly like i believe 100 percent in the universe in my angels in my gods they are going to be bringing me the right things not only when it comes to my future spouse but all the right things that are going to be entering my life yeah ultimate belief in the universe and you're going to be embracing your feminine energy uh, energy of intuition energy of going inside and then leaving the things so that they can arrive to you at the right time so how about the lover's card the lover's card please how about the lover's card oh those too many cards how about the lover's card please oh sweetheart yeah 
So for me, this is like the uh, card that actually represents the uh, Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is someone that representing someone that is independent, that have their things together. And by independence, guys, like I always say that when, I, when it comes to especially the card of the Nine of Pentacles, being independent and being stable it does not mean being like having a lot of money being a millionaire uh, having material things that that everyone is uh, dreaming about having but you being self-sufficient this is what i mean by independence so you're going to be at this stage when you're going to be meeting I see that the meeting and the marriage and the proposal, it's like almost like that. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, things that are going to be going uh, at their um, natural rhythm. And as I have said, you're going to be in a very tranquil and easygoing uh, energy. So definitely when you're going to be reaching that point, uh, things are going to be going smoothly. You, I, I'm telling you that like uh, I don't know how many times you are not going to even bother. <laughs> Because this person is going to be shown to you and you're going to be almost smiling because I see that you might already like in the in this in this energy getting some kind of messages, getting some kind of a, like downloads from the spirit that this person is going to be uh, showing that way. Or maybe in like when it comes to dreams, you're going to be already starting to dream about this person. But as soon as you're going to be at a, a point in life where you're going to be like, yeah, I'm, I'm having my things together. I'm very happy by my own. I'm celebrating being uh, with myself. I love myself. I feel awesome. This person is going to be, hey, how about we be awesome together? <laughs> so, yeah, this is great, guys. Uh, I couldn't really be happier. Uh, like many times when we are uh, having a goal in our mind sometimes we we circle and we go all around so that we can get to that goal that we are envisioning for ourselves but this is a straight line guys yeah this is what i see <laughs> so i would like to give you an additional message message guys an additional message when it comes to this period of time that you are in, the present period of time. So let's see if you have an additional message. Let's see. Is there an additional message for my lovely people that I have chosen? Option number one. Option number one, the green leaf, please, one message. Okay. Look at that. Again, a tree. A tree that is coming out of the building, something that is dead, something that is like uh, almost uh, uh, like gray. Uh, you can, when you can see a, a place that has a lot of buildings, you feel a little bit down. But look at the tree that is actually emerging out of those buildings. Living light energy. See the beauty in life. Yeah. You're going to be constructing your own basis from the ground. And even if, like, you can see that those buildings, like, uh, you have had many experiences, you have had many things that have been going on in your life, but you actually, at this point in time, seeing the beauty in life and seeing that things are going to be okay. Yeah? So all the best of luck to you, especially in this time period, guys. I'm wishing you all the best of luck. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I need to give you a time period also some uh, astrological signs so i'm going to be giving you astrological signs and and time period so let's see when it comes to the astrological signs astrological signs please we're going to be getting two two astrological signs please for option number one two two astrological signs two astrological signs please Oh, those are a lot. Two astrological signs for, okay, two. Nice. So we have Scorpio and their Capricorn. So you could be a Scorpio or a Capricorn. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be reading you the messages that are uh, written in those uh, cards because they're in German. So the first message is the one of the Capricorn and it says realize the success and also with this 10 it's like a circle that you are uh, right now 
closing this is a circle that is closing for you and you're going to be uh, like starting a new circle in your life a new period of time something new that you have never experienced before is actually going to be emerging in your life in terms of energy and you're going to be capitalizing a lot on that energy so that you can move to the next level so we have here the number 10 the number 10 is drawing me a lot so uh, let's see but uh, first when it comes to the next card which is the scorpio and the scorpio uh, it says here heal the wounds and you can see that is in this like right next to the tower card this 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 reading is so full of synchronizations and confirmations thank you guys thank you spirit uh, for the Scorpio card, it's telling you to heal the wounds and this is exactly what you're doing. <laughs> so, congrats guys. Like, uh, what is this? Uh, 16. Here is the number 8. Number 10, as I have told you earlier. So, the number 10 could be uh, in any kind of significance to you. You could be meeting a new person uh, in the 10th of the month. Also, the month of October might be significant to you. Another card, another final card for you, my dears. And we're going to see your journey to marriage. Your journey to marriage. Is there any any period? Okay. Again, 5-5, five, five, which equals to 10. So, uh, you might like take into account the number 10. And what it says here, you decide for yourself. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh my god i'm speechless like i'm you 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 decide for yourself right next to it like you decide for yourself guys like i i, I am so happy i am so happy uh, to actually see this kind of readings because it's really significant that you are uh, taking uh things uh by your own hands which is also like always the best the best thing to do in any kind of aspect in your life okay so that was your like extraordinary reading thank you guys for watching feel free to comment down below i would love to know in which way the um messages actually resonated with you if you would like your own private reading feel free to reach out to me all the information is in the info box so thanks again and i will see you next time bye <laughs>
So just a disclaimer guys, those cards do not significate months, periods, anything of the sort. Those cards, they only significate the energies that you are going to go through in your journey to marriage. So when it comes to the period at the end of your reading, I'm going to give you um, some uh, like uh, numbers that you might take into account and additional messages at the end of your reading. But for now, we're just going to be focusing on the energies in your journey. So first of all, First of all, you are going slow and steady. This is the way to go. So you're going slow and steady. You are uh, like everything that you envision for yourself, you are starting to materialize it in your real reality. And it's also significant that maybe in this current time, there will be a person that is actually going to give you a solid offer. And uh, this offer is going to be very uh, like tangible. Yeah, it could be like uh, someone that is actually confessing to you, someone that is uh, like being very serious when it comes to your relationship. And uh, it also, for, for me, the Knight of Pentacles also significates proposals. So there might be a proposal if you know someone, but if you are single right now, it's, it means that you are, you are actually looking for how to make things happen in your life, but not only thinking about it or maybe just fantasizing about it right now all your uh thoughts and energies you are materializing them in them in the real world like in the 3d world and with this three of um wands this knight of pentacles also could mean some kind of investment that you are willing to do investments when it comes to yourself so maybe you are going to uh some kind of a uh transformation or maybe anything that you would like to have and uh, you you think that there is a plan and something that is scheduled for you so that you can reach the goal that you are envisioning for yourself but after you're going to be investing after you're going to be planning there's going to be a time of waiting so waiting for your plans to actually flourish waiting for your plans to grow and uh, uh, to see some kind of a tangible results excuse me guys i'm going to be handling my nose i don't know what i when i start like reading uh, my nose starts to tingle so much so just so you know <laughs> with this tree i see that also there might be some tree, like three people that are involved in this uh, almost like a decision that you are going to be making and you are going to be making some kind of a choice you're going to be uh, like two things you're going to be waiting for some things to actually flourish and you're going to be making a choice and waiting for things to actually go back to you so i'm going to be going back to this knight of pentacles so uh, as, I, as i have told you at the beginning of the reading if they're going to be a proposal or maybe someone that is going to be giving you something uh, like a commitment a very committed person that is willing to uh, work hard on your relationship they might uh, uh, like uh, be at a distance to you or that uh, you are like uh, like having some kind of a distance relationship like long distance relationship and uh, you are going to be uh, almost like waiting for that person to come back uh, like this is the kind of relationship that I actually envision and also when it comes to uh, like if there is a new person that is actually entering your life uh, like the possibility of you two being in a long distance relationship is actually very high so the ten of swords like at some point in time you're going to be fed up okay you're going to be fed up this person uh like they are for you you're going to be like you are slow uh, we are like miles uh away uh, like this relationship is not going to work maybe this person is actually very busy because with the pentacles the pentacles significantly like work and uh, action oriented person like towards their career they are a very highly driven person they're going to be focusing maybe on their career and on making the money and making the finances grow a little bit more than the relationship that you two are going to be having or the relationship that you are having right now so definitely uh, you are going to be fed up uh, tired uh, i'm not going to be uh, willing to continue with that anymore and um, i see that you because i see that this this tree in tree and you are the one that is waiting and trying to make a decision waiting 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 trying to make that decision and 
uh, like the waiting is so long that it's actually going to be hurting you and uh, with this three of swords you are the one that is actually going to be ending this relationship you're going to be messaging this person talking to them hey i'm not okay with this kind of relationship uh i would like someone to be around i would like someone to actually um feel like we are in a relationship and i don't feel like we are in a relationship anymore and afterwards <laughs> it's like 10 10 afterwards when when you're going to be uh putting things uh, as they are for your person being assertive saying that you are not okay with being in the, those kinds of relationship this person is uh, uh at that particular moment they are going to be uh like like come here baby i'm sorry for what i have done and then they're going to be like restarting again and re-evaluating what are the things that are that they have been doing so that they will keep your relationship this relationship for this person that is entering your life or your current partner it is very important for them they care about you they love you i see that very clearly because you break like breaking up with them it's going to be breaking their heart and then from there they're going to be very very keen and very serious and almost like your relationship is going to become their own prior priority okay so let's get some clarification about this nine of pent knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles so for here guys as i have said earlier i don't know like when it comes to the first reading it was the same thing this card actually significates the energies that were before right now like before this is where you have been you have been through some kind of a very deep uh, self-assessment self-evaluation period and right now the relationships that you are welcoming in your life it's like no bs guys no bs uh, are you going to be uh, giving me something that uh, that is tangible that is uh, worth having if not buy like you even if you are going to be falling in love with this person if you are in, not in love with them already but you know like at some point in time you will know that this is not actually going anywhere like especially when it comes to how you see things you will see that from your own perspective that things are not going anywhere and for you you're going to be actually even if you it is going to be breaking your heart you are going to be uh, making that decision to actually end this relationship but this person is is going to be like uh, reassessing very hard and uh, it's going to only come uh, go up from there yeah it's some, like a rough patch uh, like at the beginning i don't see that it's going to be something like very dramatic on anything of the sort because as soon as you're going to be telling that that uh, person that you are going to be with or that you are with because i see that despite you might already be in a relationship with uh in a committed relationship or uh like uh along uh, like from from quite some time with uh, a person and um right when you're going to be telling that person that this is not the relationship that you would like to be in they're going to be coming running so definitely from this to this i see like almost like instantly like uh, when you're going to be talking to each other you're going to be telling them yeah i would like to break up they're going to be like right right away telling you i'm leaving everything and you are the person of my life you are the one you are the one that i would like to spend my, the rest of my life with i'm going to make the necessary changes so yeah the death card so uh, you can see that there is in here this uh almost like this time aspect about this card uh, for me it doesn't always significate like the death card in the tarot deck but for me it's it significates also uh, taking time taking time so that you can do the things that are you supposed to do as a couple as a and and given the relationship the time so that it can flourish and with this death card with the message that i am getting uh, as well is that this person that especially if you are single this person that is going to be entering your life is someone that uh like a new energy something that you have never experienced before something that is actually uh, very new to you even to you you have never it could be that you two are are uh, different when it comes to culture when it comes to race there is some kind of a, a polarity between you two especially when it comes to this black and white that is depicted in this picture 
and uh, it could be as well that you're going to be meeting maybe a foreigner someone that is uh, not actually from your country uh, and it it makes sense as well uh, when it comes to you to be in a long distance relationship but it could it could be just someone that is different uh, from you or different from the people that you have dated in the past so what about the three of uh, uh, three of uh, wands. <laughs> I'm sorry. So constancy. You can see that there is this um, eye in here, and this eye. It's almost like uh, looking through a loop, and then waiting for your ships to come. This is a very observant kind of card. Constancy. You are just uh, in an observant kind of, of energy in this uh, period, and also you are. Um, you are not just going about your relationship just uh, without without being uh, conscious about the things that are happening. You are very keen into analyzing what are the uh, type of dynamics that are going on in your uh, energy in your relationship, so that you can make the right decision for you. Uh, like you are observing how this person actually behaves uh what am i feeling uh what do i think this person is actually feeling what they are actually telling me and all the information that you are going to be getting from your interaction with this person is going to be uh, giving you the the possibility and the capability so that you can make the right decisions for you so let's see when it comes to the ten of swords ten of swords yeah So I can see almost that this is you. You have done the work, you have worked on yourself, on your self-confidence, on yourself, uh, like, you feel very attractive, you feel very alive, and it's almost like, oh, this is how I am. Like, how am I in this, in this, um, in this energy right now? It, it doesn't make sense. You can see in here with this uh, card that this, this heart in here, it's like half in black and half in red. So with this sweetheart, you are going to be making the right decisions for you. And I, I couldn't be more proud of you, like, guys. We are not uh, like living here to suffer or maybe to wait for some people that are not willing to make the right effort for us. And this is you, you understand that very well. Like, I don't even have to say that to you, you understand that. And so, you're going to be making the decisions for you. Yeah, I'm not going to be in that energy, in this kind of rubbish energy. No, no, no. This is a 10. I'm ending this. I'm ending this. And like afterwards like even if it's going to be hurting my heart a little bit even if it's uh, if it's going to be the case but i'm choosing myself so the three of swords the three of swords please the three of swords the three of swords So one card for the Tree of Swords, please. Okay. The Priest. So, excuse me. So with this Priest, What do I see with that? Let me contemplate the card a little bit so that I can see if there are any messages that might come out of this card. So you can see that this priest, he has like some kind of a chandelier with lots of candles. Yeah. It's almost like... Um, let me show you so that you can understand what I'm saying. So you can see that there is this chandelier in here and it has like some candles that are like about to melt. You can see in here. Like those chandeliers are melting. And this is what you're actually going to be uh, telling to that person or maybe how you're going to be bringing about your a decision that you you are not willing to be with that person anymore you're going to be saying that uh i have uh, been uh, very loyal 
uh, very dedicated also like when it comes to the priest he is like a person that is very dedicated to his faith very uh, like uh, uh, committed so uh, you are going to be coming from that point of view I'm, I have been very committed but I see that my candles are about to go off so uh, my candles are about to melt and uh, I, I only have that much time so uh, yeah I'm not willing to go further with you uh, I, I was giving this uh, you can see that this priest is focused on those candles you have you, you're going to be telling your person that you you are you have been given this uh, relationship your priority you have been given all like a lot of energy lots of efforts and right now you see that yeah it's time for you to go for, on your own way because uh, you feel like you are wasting your time so let's see when it comes to this ten of pentacles <laughs> when they are going to be coming running for you yeah so let's see the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles please some money and baby so <laughs> some money which means that this person is actually uh, seriously uh, they are working on on their finances i don't see that this person has any kind of malicious kind of uh, intentions or anything of the sort but they really are are focused on the family they do love you i, I just i just i kept saying that like over and over again but they are focused on their money so that they can provide for you your family and all everyone around so this is a very uh, committed dedicated kind of person but uh, they, they really are and especially in this time period they might have like some kind of a raise or like um, when they're going to be uh, like uh, showing you that it, it, it really is uh, like time for, for them maybe to go to the next level in your relationship and get married uh, they're going to be explaining to you that it, all everything that, that that they are doing and all the work and hard work that they are doing is actually for you to be prosperous for you to have a very stable beautiful family together and uh, yeah uh, at that at that period of time you or the other person or maybe both of you are going to be having like some kind of a uh, an additional income that is like especially if you have been doing some kind of investment in the uh, starting of the period but uh, yeah uh, I couldn't emphasize on that enough this person they do not have bad intentions or anything of the sort they are just very 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 focused on their pentacles okay and there is nothing wrong with that it's just that sometimes when people are uh, very focused on their lives on their careers especially when they are willing to get that promotion they are oh i would like to get you an additional uh, i haven't done that for the other parts but i felt drawn to give you to give you a message from this deck okay so how about this person anything that you would like to know about this person manipulation and reputation so I can see that with this six card also it's the uh, number of growth number of material things and number of beauty and what I see in here is that with this manipulation card this decision that you're going to be making is going to be making them change the way that they look in this relationship and actually uh, changing their perception on where things are headed when it comes to you two being together so definitely this phase this particular phase is extremely important and positive guys i couldn't say that like I, i've said that like many times this period is actually positive because it's actually going to be changing the steam well, like uh, the, the stream uh, of uh, how like relationship your relationship is actually going so if I can give you with this reputation as well near the ten of pentacles this person uh, like are going to be ending up getting a raise getting everything that you have wished for and of course like their biggest prize which is you so 
if they that this person is uh, they are very driven and they would like to achieve many things in their lives and they are going to be getting to that high status that they envision themselves being in uh, and uh, yeah so one additional card for you guys one additional card those are a lot so one additional card for you guys <clears throat> One additional card. Oh, those like jumping all around. One additional card. One card, please. One card. Oh, okay. Awakened spirit. What have I told you? You are a very awakened spirit with the number four number of stability. You are very uh, like centered, a very centered person. Desire to change. Which means that if there is something that is not serving you and serving your highest purpose, this is like easy peasy for you. You are not scared. You are not fearful of any kind of change. And this is what you are going to be demonstrated to that person. Very important, very like, um, like a confirmation after one after the other. So let's get some uh, astrological signs for you guys. Astrological signs for my dear people that have chosen option number two. Astrological signs, please. Astrological signs. Please, some astrology. Okay. And we have Virgo, collect the harvest. As I have told you earlier, this relationship is going to come as some kind of an investment. You're going to be investing time and energy in it. And your person as well. I see that they're going to be investing, but it's it's just that it's not going to be enough for you. But it's not that they are not going to be doing anything. 6-6, six, six, uh, again, uh, like number of material things, success, uh, income, uh, like lots of material things that you are going to be manifesting as well. This... this uh, card and this card as well is the card of manifestation so it might be like a side message for you many things that you would like to uh, manifest in your life are actually going to be manifested in your life so just keep that in mind here we have monday number two and what does it say it says change get advice so yeah again awakened spirit uh, uh with this get advice i don't see like uh necessarily or I don't see at all actually that you're going to be seeking advice from a person but mostly you're going to be seeking advice from your own uh, like uh, uh, spirits so you're going to be uh, going inside and reassessing the things for yourself and then making your own decision so if I can give you any kind of numbers that you might take uh, into account the number six might be very important for you so uh, also you could be a Virgo, especially when it comes to this Knight of Pentacles. Or the person that you are asking about could be a Virgo. <clears throat> I mean, the, the person that you are going to be marrying. And uh, like it could be in six weeks, six months, that your relationship is going to be uh, leveling up. Or you're going to be meeting that person for the first time. Also, uh, the month of June is, is might be very important for you. Also, this number two, it might be, any, uh, again, of any significance to you. So you might take those two numbers into account, number six and number two. So, guys, that was your reading. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to comment down below. I would love to know in which what kind of way those messages resonated with you. And if you would like your own private reading, you can reach out to me. Uh, all the information is in the info box. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you very soon. Bye. For my dear people that have chosen option number three or the option of the uh, flying birds, uh, welcome guys to your reading. I'm just going to keep your card in here. 
and then we're gonna start right away by getting your tarot cards so the cards that i have showed you at the beginning of the video are the ones that actually significate for me marriage so i'm going to be pulling a tarot card until we're going to be reaching uh, one of those cards that i have showed earlier so a uh, very important message as well those cards that i'm going to be displaying to you they do not significate months they do not significate any kind of period they are just energies so you go in, you might be going through three of those cards in one day in one minute like it, it really doesn't matter but when it comes to the periods i'm going to be drawing additional cards for you at the end of the reading so that you can know maybe when you're going to be meeting that person or uh, any kind of inf information regarding their uh, like the some astrological astrological signs and time periods so let's get some cards for option number three So with those flying birds, what I see uh, like already that you might have like joined some kind of a new venture. You might be uh, w uh, like uh, thinking about maybe going abroad, starting something new, maybe changing the way that you have been uh, operating in the past. Look, uh, the four of uh, pentacles, which means the stability and your uh, sense of basis and judgment card, which means re-evaluations and reassessments. So... Yeah, you might be going through some kind of a time period where uh, maybe you have found something that is very uh, motivating and exciting for you that you would like to dive into. But let's start with your reading and see when it comes to option number three, please, their journey to marriage. So, Knight of Pentacles, a Knight of Cups, I'm sorry. So, next card. Three of Cups. Nice. This is the card of marriage. But we're gonna take those two as well because they might be of any kind of significance to you. Okay. So what do we have? We have the uh, King of Swords and then the Ace of uh, Wands. Nice. <laughs> so as I have said earlier, you're going to be looking for things that are exciting, things that are actually uh, moving you from the inside. You can see that those flying birds, uh, like this, this, this card is giving me by itself. It's giving me lots of happiness and joy and having fun and going out and just like enjoying the, the current moment and not caring about any kind of circumstances no expectations no like you really don't, don't care about the the outcome of any kind of situation so you are in a very good place or you're about to enter a very very good place and then you're going to be having uh, getting a, a, a romantic offer from a person that is going to be approaching you this person when you're going to be starting to know them you're going to be identifying or maybe feeling that you two are actually having a very deep uh, like soul connection so the six of cups is a very uh, nostalgic card it could be a person that you have known and uh, uh, like in the past and then you haven't spoken to them in ages and right now they are coming to you maybe for an offer it, it, you could be starting as well as friends but uh, what's for sure is that this person are going to be having romantic intentions towards you from the beginning so lots of beautiful moments that you're going to be sharing with this person and your relationship is going to be going fast 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 yeah you it's like you're just having fun this is exactly the energy that brings you tranquility and brings you peace of mind and this is what you have chosen for your for yourself and this is really the, the, the best choice you could make okay so let's get some clarifiers because the spread is extremely clear and extremely easy even to the eyes. I don't know, uh, I feel that such an easy energy that is coming out of this uh, card, uh, card uh, having fun, uh, like getting to know each other, being cozy and comfortable and at ease in the, uh, each other's company. It's like something that... <sighs> it's, uh, like relaxation. This is what I feel. And then with this... Um, 
uh, chariot card i see mostly like the masculine in this energy it could be you it could be the other person it doesn't uh, like matter about the gender or the uh, like it's all about the energies and they are actually going to be very very keen to uh, move the relationship into the next level because they are represented in here with the uh, king of source uh, with the of course the ace of uh, pentacles they are very very uh, like they found you extremely attractive even if uh, you might not like see it or maybe feel it but this person because here they are represented with the uh, king of swords and the king of swords they might have like a certain facade uh, very masculine they don't really want to show uh, that they are like madly in love and all those kind of things but they are extremely extremely attracted to you this is for sure so like their priority is to, to get the relationship to the next level and everything is going to be going fast when you two are going to be reaching a certain level of comfort and easiness towards each other especially when you two are going to be start starting to talk starting to open up to, to each other and uh, also i might uh, i see that you might uh, introduce each other to your families pretty quick so you might as well be meeting through family or even if uh, like your relationship will have uh, nothing to do with family you might introduce each other to your own families pretty early in the relationship message look at that <laughs> so yeah this person is going to be messaging you getting into any kind of contact with you especially if you know them already so they they could be even like an old classmate or uh, someone that is coming back from the past or if it is someone new it's someone that is actually going to be initiating some kind of a contact especially when it comes to um, like uh, messaging i see like uh, you can see in here that there are letters and there is money so it could be also when it comes to career so they could be someone that you interact with when it comes to your job or maybe uh, a client or something of that sort and with this uh, let me show you the card because it's too minuscule and uh, you might not see it with this he with this uh, button in here it signifies also the medical field so it could be like your counselor your uh, doctor or maybe someone you have met at the hospital or maybe you're just going for a regular check and uh, you meet that person out of the blue so your relationship or your meeting might have any kind of significance when it, when it comes to the medical field and also when it comes to career so so also i see very strongly that they might be uh, one of your clients so thoughts so you two are going to be going through a period where you're going to be sharing your thoughts being open with each other getting to know each other from scratch especially if you have known them already they might have changed and right now you are getting to know them as you have never uh, know known them before and things are going to be going smoothly uh, you're going to be having fun as well because this is the energy that you're going to be in anyways you're going to be having fun just taking care of yourself and uh, enjoying the enjoying the uh, like uh, present moment so how about the chariot card how about the chariot card so one message when it comes to the chariot card a lot a lot a lot of messages one card please when it comes to the chariot card One, one, okay. <laughs> marriage. <laughs> so yeah, can we get to marriage like as soon as possible? <laughs> yeah. So things are going to be moving quite fast, guys, with the chariot card. And this person are going to be taking charge of the situation. So that you two are going to be in a, at least a very, very, very committed relationship uh, as soon as possible because this person, are, uh, they are very fixated on you, yeah? And uh, I'm going to keep those two cards in here for a moment. It's almost like a general energies that this person are going to be having towards you. Yeah, their ultimate goal 
is to get to marriage like as soon as possible and they are going to be making lots of efforts because this chariot card is like almost like making lots of efforts so that the relationship can actually go to the next level so let's see when it comes to the three of cups three of cups please we have two cards house and loss So this person is actually going to be trying to play it right. This is the, uh, the message that I am hearing. There are two people in here. They have in cards and they are pulling each one cards so that they can like win some kind of a uh, um, price. But as I have said earlier, the price for this person is actually you. So they are going to be investing in some kind of a house, getting their things together so that they can have all kinds of uh, maybe... Uh, like get all the their chances so that you two are going to be starting on the right foot when it comes to your relationship but with this lost card i see that uh you two are going to be feeling that uh like the uh the, you might have this this very nostalgic feeling of maybe being single enjoying yourself and this is going to be ending i'm going to be going to uh, i'm going to be married now and now i'm going to be having responsibilities but this house and also with this swan in here you're going to be seeing the beauty in this relationship and you are going to be willing to actually start a home and start a family with this person and the all kind of maybe fears or worries about what's to come are going to be vanished because that's why I got this those two cards like at the end of uh, the spread this person uh, they are going to be taking charge of the situation and they're going to be making you feel at ease and making you feel sure that this person have enough yeah, attraction and enough interest in you and uh, yeah there is really no need for you to worry or even think about anything that might happen or maybe anything that might uh, that you might feel uh, like when, in terms of lack I, I don't see any kind of lack in this relationship i mostly see that this person at the contrary they are very prosperous i see that this person might be very prosperous guys this this card was just like laying on on my desk alone and it's uh, officer officer so they might be working at the um like air force i don't know why i say air force with those flying birds air force military something that is related also to like defense and the they are having actually a very good life for themselves so there is really no need to worry for you uh, uh about any kind of flag or anything of the sort like there is no need to worry all right so let's get uh one additional message for you guys secret temptation being led astray see that man jesus christ <laughs> this is how they're going to be looking at you uh it's pretty intimidating to be honest like those face uh like uh traits uh, they could be uh like similar to the person that is entering your life or maybe the person that you are going to be marrying in general uh, they might have like blue eyes also very sharp features uh, like plumped uh, the lower lip might be a little bit more plumped than, than the uh, upper lip and uh, yeah look at this focus look at this like burning 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 with passion and temptation so yeah look at that guys do i even need to say anything yeah <laughs> so with this 31 it's the celebration of being in union being together and also it significates the significates the tree of uh, uh uh cups so it's really a, a very big goal for this person for you to be united and for you to uh, celebrate being with each other over and over again it's almost like a never-ending uh, phase of romance a never-ending phase of pursuing you and uh, yeah the bedroom guys this is a very clear message 
you're going to be having a fun time together. Hmm. Nice. So, you have, what is this? You have Gemini and it says, seek the change. So definitely there's going to be a very big shift when it comes to your relationship. You're going to be starting to know each other pretty slowly. Also, like a side message for you, you might be a Gemini or your person might be a Gemini. But uh, you two are going to be uh, like starting slow and getting to know each other. And then things are going to be shifting pretty quick. And things are going to be uh, like speeding up like, 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 like no tomorrow, all right? They... Things are going to be speeding up and marriage is going to be like, or, I don't see this, like a matter of months. I see here three months. So three months might be of significance to you, especially when you two are going to be in a state of being friends. And uh, when you two are going to be reaching a certain point that you know uh, a little bit more about each other. So in a time period of maybe three months, you're going to be deciding to get in a, uh, like a commitment, uh, uh, introducing each other to your uh, like uh, respective families. And then from there, putting dates so that you two are going to be getting married, 11-11. This is a very significant relationship for you guys. I see also the number two, number of two people getting together, being one. So, uh, what does it say, actually? What does it say? What does it say? It says, listen to friends. So, this is actually going to be your friend. This is, this is the message that I am getting out of this card. You two are going to be starting as friends. And then from there, you're going to be taking your relationship to the next level. And rapidity at, at its maximum. And I see that even if you two are going to be starting as friends. And even if you will not see it at the beginning. But this person are going to be uh, uh, like being attracted to you. Even be, like at the first time that they are going to be meeting you, it's almost like love at the first sight. But they're going to be, uh, they're not going to be uh, like expressing that uh, like the first time that you two are going to be meeting. Yeah. So 11, 11, you might see, like look at this, this number, uh, like an Asian um, angel number. And uh, there might be a... An additional message for you that you might look out like on the internet and uh, again like the, the number three is pulling me a lot so it might be three months the third of the month or maybe uh, like the number three can be of any kind of significance to you also the number 31 is uh, drawing me very much so 31 uh, could be as well very significant uh, significant to you so that was your beautiful reading guys thank you so much for watching feel free to comment down below i would love to know in which way the messages resonated with you also if you would like your own private reading you can reach out to me by uh, sending me an email and all the information is in the info box down below so thanks again for watching i will hope for you all the best when it comes to your love journey and uh, have a beautiful day and i will see you very soon bye